Congratulations. My name is Kim Slavan and I'm the organizing lead for Women's March. I've been a part of Women's March since 2016. Um, I also work with Women's March California as a board member. So the first Women's March actually was put together by a group of Fresno State students. Um, Michaela Cineros, I believe, headed that effort. And that first march, um, everybody showed up at Blackstone and Knees and we walked um, in, in a march circle. We've kept that part the same because that, that's a big impact. People ask us all the time, why don't you do it in downtown? Well. Downtown Fresno on a Saturday and Sunday is not very busy, so the only people that would be out there would probably be us. But here we can really impact our community, so we kept that the same. What's different now is the past two years, we've grown this event here. We have speakers, we have performers. Like I said, we have 30 tables this year. We have six speakers, we have musical performances, we have spoken performances, and I hope that just continues to grow. I would love to outgrow this space and take it someplace bigger. You know, we're just trying to get the word out that women's rights and human rights are imp important. We have um, we have an effort today to sign postcards and send them to Washington to protect Title IX, which um, the protections for women who have been victims of rape and sexual assault are being stripped away. It's also about immigration rights. We have children dying in immigration centers and children being taken away from their parents as they come across the border. Women's rights and human rights have to be everybody's concern this day. I think in Fresno, what Women's March says for the community is there is a, a big moral compass in this community. We have men and women from across this community supporting this effort. Last year at this event, we may, maybe had 10 community partners. You see the tables behind me. This year, we have 30 community partners out here, and I think that is really um, impressive. What I would like to say is that you can make a huge difference in your community by getting involved with things like Women's March, the community partners. Um, that we all have an obligation to protect um, our human family and uh, I would love to see out here next year a ton of volunteers from the, the uh, university that want to help support that. That's what they tried to frame me as a woman. The dumb girl who knows nothing and will get nothing done. That's what they tried to label me. That's what they try to label a lot of us women. And we proved them wrong, and we won, right? My, uh, my goal, maybe because I'm the community partner organizer, is just um, to provide an opportunity for people to be involved all year long, not just at this um, one day in time. Just that your, your voice matters and is important, and to use it to get involved, um, educate yourself, and please vote. <laughs> Elections have consequences. <laughs> Pussy hat? Like, why? I don't get it. You go back and you tell them why instead of retreating back in comfort, right? Because that is what power, that's what speaking truth to power means. It actually means looking at it straight in the face and going, no, I am scared, but I'm doing it afraid anyway. Right? That's what doing it afraid means. Because when we understand our fears, then we can use it and then we create courage.